Well, after a little stretch here in the Carrier Dome, it is back on the road this week for Orange football. Cuse and Wake Forest Saturday at noon as Orange head coach Scott Schaefer joins us for our regular Monday visit. We'll get into the Demon Deacons in a matchup of two and four teams uh, this coming Saturday, Coach. But we'll look back at the Florida State game. It's a 38-20 yeah. loss. Turns out to be about <laughs> the average score of the Florida State games this year. But uh, I know you're enthused about uh, some of the things we saw there on Saturday. Yeah, I, you know, the, the, our, our number one objective starting off was obviously go in and try to win a football game. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we had some underlying themes that we really wanted to come away with coming out of that game. Um, one of them was just to, to earn more respect than we did the year before when we played this team because I thought, uh, you know, last year we didn't come out of that game feeling good about uh, anything. Mm -hmm. And I thought this year our kids played uh, physical football. Uh, I thought that we did some good things on both sides of the ball as well as in the kicking game. Um, so, you know, there are some good things to take out of it. You know, I love the way the freshmen play. Sure. Let's start there because I know that's where the fans are most encouraged. A.J. Long getting his first action. Uh, Austin Wilson also getting some time starting as well. But Long throws two touchdown passes, both to freshman Steve Ishmael. We saw some real athleticism, the type of talent you're looking for in recruiting was at play on both of those. No question about it. And, you know, I think the future's bright with, uh, you know, a lot of those freshmen and some of the others that haven't had an opportunity to step in yet. And I was really pleased, uh, you know, that you throw some kids in, into the fire, especially AJ, and uh, just the way he responded, you know. I had a feeling he wasn't going to have any problems as far as mentally and, and uh, being able to take that approach that he's just going out there playing football because he's done that since day one since he's been here. And it was nice to see Steve Ishmael make some very uh, difficult catches. That was in keeping with some of the Sandlot type stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and is that a, a portent for the future for him? Is that just the way he plays? all the time and kind of a freelancer? Well, yeah, you know, really, if you look at his reads and his timing on his throws, he was actually really good. He was, he was very efficient with um, uh, making the right decisions. Now the thing he's got to improve upon is his placement of the football in a couple mm -hmm. plays. And we had a couple drop passes, too. Um, as far as the uh, deep balls, you know, a couple of those were well-called plays. And, and then the one where he was dashing to his right and uh, made the throw down the field uh, on the move, <laughs> that was just a football player being a football player. And he does a nice job on the scramble finding the deep guy. All right, we can go through some of the things and fans can read the stats of the obvious stuff. I would ask you what, what would we maybe miss? What came out of the Florida State game that uh, has you excited for the second half of the sure. season? Sure. Well, offensively, you know, an area that, that we really wanted to show improvement upon was first down and third down. Mm -hmm. And we have goals, and uh, we reached both of those goals. Those were two targets we worked hard at. Uh, the last you know a couple weeks to be honest with you and then going into this one against the number one team in the country with a, a couple young quarterbacks uh, you know I was I was concerned but uh, it was nice to see those kids reach those goals uh, offensively defensively um, I thought we, we, we stood strong in the sudden change situation you know when we have a turnover a situation where we're thrown back on the football field uh, two of the three uh, times we, we held, held, held them and forced field goals. So, you know, there were some promising things from that side of it. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing that I don't want to be remiss in, in talking about is uh, Riley Dixon kicked extremely well. Uh, I think his average was just uh, 47 yards uh, net. Uh, and then I thought our coverage units did a nice job as well against a very athletic Florida State team. I know offensively we didn't see the lost yardage plays yeah. that maybe have played, <laughs> played here from time to time. Let's get into the Wake Forest game. Coach, you've sort of gotten through. You knew this gauntlet would be there from the start oh, yeah. uh, you know, the summer when the schedule was out. Uh, Notre Dame, Louisville, and Florida State, those two yeah. teams, or three teams, have two losses uh, combined yeah. right now, and uh, two of them are going to meet for one of the biggest games in the college football season right. uh, this coming Saturday night. Now you've come out of that uh, little tunnel, and you head into two consecutive uh, conference road games. This is your first conference road game of the year headed to Wake Forest and a team that comes off a bye week. They're hungry as well at 2-4. and four. Well, Sure they are. You know, I think um, one of the things I was pleased about is all with all the injuries, injuries we've had, um, we had a lot of kids have to step up and, uh, you know, show us that they could play. I feel comfortable with a lot of those guys. I wish I had the guys back that are injured right now, but uh, you can't control those things. Mm -hmm. So as we look into Wake Forest, knowing that they just came off a bye week, um, I'm sure they'll have some wrinkles for us. You know, they're playing good defense. They have a very good defensive uh, uh, unit, uh, some very good safeties. Uh, 
some linebackers that really do a good job plugging up the middle. Um, so we're going to have to, you know, get after that group. Offensively, they've had some struggles, but they've had, you know, some time to get ready to prepare sure. for us. So we're going to be attacked, and I'm sure they're going to do a good job attacking our tendencies. So it'll be uh, a mixed bag of things where we have to do a nice job changing things up on that side of the ball to try to keep them off balance. This is a Wake team that's uh, having a hard time moving the football. They're last in the, in the country right now in uh, total offense. But, and you, I'm sure you have stories from your past where you do have that half season gone, a yeah. chance to self-scout, it's a new staff, that they have an opportunity to figure something out. Yeah, they do. And Dave Clawson's a great offensive mind. Mm -hmm. uh, I've watched his work for years. So he'll have some things ready to go, and, uh, and so will we. Seems to me, Coach, the theme for you this week is this idea of conversion. Your first comments to me just minutes after the game Saturday, yeah, all well and good, <laughs> some things happen. We need to win. That's right. <laughs> right? So what's the next step of, of, of what you're missing or how to get that done on the road here? Well, for me, it's just, okay, we're at the midway point of the season. We're not where we wanted to be. We're sitting at two and four. Mm -hmm. Now we have to wipe that slate clean and say we're in the second half. It's a brand new situation. Our whole goal is to get to one and oh in the second half of the season. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? You keep working on the things that you know you need to improve upon, and you keep the faith in staying with the plan, staying with the vision that you had from day one. Now, you may be doing it with some different kids, some different names, but uh, that's part of what we do. So stay true to what we believe in, keep working at it extremely hard, and go out there and play uh, carefree football to the point where those kids can play loose and fast. Yeah, and Schaefer, we'll end it on this thought. I know it's uh, always too early here, Monday uh, close to noon, as we talk about who do you have available, but are you yeah. optimistic uh, that your roster can <laughs> fill out a little bit come the weekend? Well, <laughs> not so much. Okay, you know, we'll we have see. some kids out that are going to be out for a little bit. Um, I'm hoping that maybe we can get a couple bodies back, but it probably won't be more than that, Matt, to be honest okay. with you. So, you know, the next kid that has to step in has to be ready to go. So we talk about that creed, uh, next man up is key. And um, I know those kids are anxious to uh, continue to make their new mark here in the program. And so far, so good, because we've seen the first this and that. Yeah, the first right. uh, catches for Sean Avant, the first touchdown catches uh, for Steve Ishmael, the first production for A.J. Long. So we'll see who the next chapter is, Coach. That Thanks. Sounds good. All right, Orange Head Coach Scott Schaefer. Hope you'll stay with us throughout the week here at Cuse TV for various coverage, including Coach's press conference on Thursday and much more. It's the Orange and the Demon Deacons this Saturday just past noon in Winston-Salem.